Good morning and welcome to Grade 11. We're looking at algebra where we focus on exponents and thirds for the first two weeks. Our video lessons that we have will expand on these topics step by step. And I trust that you will enjoy what was prepared and that you will also share with your friends. Remember that this resource has copyright protection on it. Unlawful use of the content can lead to prosecution. Material is not to be sold or to make use of to make money. It is a shareable document. It is a shareable video. But do not take away from the credits of the creator. And in this instance, the creator is Ricardo Wessi. Before you can even start to simplify exponential equations, you first need to know your exponential laws. So just briefly, I reflect on them and say to you that when you have two bases that are the same and you multiply them, you add the exponents. When you divide two bases that are the same, you subtract the exponents. Any base that is raised to the power of zero is one. If two bases are raised to a power, then each of that bases are raised to that power. If a power is raised to another power, you multiply the exponents. If a fraction is raised to the, a power, both the numerator and the denominator must be raised to that power. And lastly, for grade 11, we will add that if a base to a power is in a third to whatever degree, then that base to that power, and the power must be divided by the number that is represented by the third. For example, if this is a square root, then that will be a 2. If this is a cube root, that would be a 3. If this is to the power of 4, or, or the fourth root, this will be divided by 4. With this being said, I trust and hope that you could write down these roots laws and try to memorize them because if you do not know them you won't use them and if you can't use them then you will be unable to solve the questions that follow but just to briefly reflect on a few things that we already know from grade 8 and 9 already we will look at some exercises what does 2 to the power of 5 mean it's 2 multiplied with himself five times. Two times two times two times two times two is thirty two. Three squared means three multiplied by three is equal to nine. Now we get to a tricky one. When negative three is raised to the power of four, and it is in brackets, it means everything is raised to the power of 4. Everything inside this bracket. So it means negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Negative times a negative is a positive. A positive times a negative is a negative. Negative times a negative is a positive. Therefore my answer is positive. Now have negative 3 to the power of 4, but there is no brackets. It means only the 3 is raised to the power of 4. Only the 3, not the negative sign as well. So therefore, our calculation becomes negative into 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Therefore, our answer is negative 81. Some learners still misconstrue this one. They typed into the calculator 
this instead of that because the calculator if you do not put it in brackets the calculator deems it as this one and that's why a lot of learners get this type of question wrong typing it into their calculators now we will briefly look at the application of all the rules. So let's go to the first. The two bases are the same, and I multiply them. Then I must add the exponents. So 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. Therefore, 2 to the power of 7 is 128. Next one, when I divide two bases that are the same, 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 3, that gives me 2 to the power of 5 minus 3. That gives me 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4. Then, 3 multiplied by 4, all raised to the power of 2. That will be 3 squared multiplied by 4 squared, which is 9 multiplied by 16, which is equal to 144. Because it's multiplication, I could have multiplied 3 by 4 and gotten 12. 12 squared is 12 multiplied by 12, which is equal to 144. Two ways to get to the same answer, but only if it is multiplication. We move to the next one. 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. Now this, when a power is raised to a power, I must multiply the exponents. So this becomes 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3. Therefore it is 2 to the power of 6. And my answer is 64. Alternatively, I could have said that 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3, that means 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2, which will give me 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 plus 2, gives me 2 to the power of 6, still gives me 64 as an answer. So you could have applied this law. And still gotten the same answer. We move swiftly along to the next one. 4 over 3, all raised to the power of 3. That means 4 to the power of 3 over 3 to the power of 3. Now 4 to the power of 3 is 64, and 3 to the power of 3 is 27. That gives me simplified 64 over 27, gives me 2 and 10. 27. For the moment, I just briefly want to reflect on the following. A plus A plus A is adding. So that is 3A. But A multiplied by A multiplied by A means A to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 is A to the power of 3. When we look at expanding brackets, for example, a plus b squared, we had to say a plus b multiply with a plus b. Then we expand it. We got the square of that, got the square of that, and the middle part. We said we'll have ab plus ab, and we got a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. However, when learners attempt this in the exam and we give them 4 plus 3 squared, the right answer would be 7 squared, which is 49. But they could have also done the following. Said the answer will be 4 squared plus 3 squared. But then there must still be a middle term, which is 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3. Remember, in this instance, 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3. That also has to be there. Then our answer becomes 16 
plus 24 plus 9 gives me 49. However, some learners just say the answer is 4 squared plus 3 squared, 16 plus 9 is 25. Remember now, if we apply these rules, that one would be right. This one is a common mistake made by learners, and I highlight this one to say where the mistake is. So please, do not make this mistake. Here, you have to add the two together, get the answer of 7, and square it. 7 squared is 49. Alternatively, you could have done this method, but most learners get this wrong because they just say 4 squared plus 3 squared. I thank you for watching this video. If you like to tell your friends, if you love to tell everyone, I will see you in the next one. Do not forget to like, subscribe and turn on your notifications to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Please share if you found it useful. Thank you. My details are over here. So please feel free to get in touch with me if there's anything else that you would like to. Thank you. Goodbye.